Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my morning skincare routine. For a little bit of background, I do have dry, acne prone, and eczema prone skin. So all of the products I'm using today are kind of geared towards that. So if you have a similar skin type to me, I hope that this is helpful. And if you have not subscribed yet already, I would love for you to do that, that would mean a lot. And yeah, let's get into my morning skincare routine. Okay, so first I, in the morning, I just will rinse my face with water unless my face is feeling, I don't know, grimy or something on some rare occasion, I'll wash my face. But I usually just rinse my face with water because I have dry skin and usually washing it again kind of just dries it out even more. Um, but after I rinse my face with water, I always go in with the Tower 28 SOS spray. If you've been here for a while, you know this is like a huge Huge holy grail for me. I actually have found a dupe. One of um, you messaged, or not messaged, one of you commented that there's like a cheaper version of this out there and I bought it and I've been using it but I haven't like used it a bunch to let you know whether or not it's worth it. So I'll report back on that but this is what I usually go in with right after I wash my face and I'm very generous with this. I like spray it all over. So I spray this on my face and let it dry because the founder, uh, Amy Liu, she actually said that the way that this works the best is if you spray it and let it dry on your face because if you don't let it dry, it's not gonna work as best as it can for your skin. And this is such a holy grail for me because I'm eczema prone and because I have really sensitive skin as well. So I just find that this has helped a lot with my eczema and my acne and my sensitivity on my skin. So this is step one and I just let that dry. And for step two, I like to go in with the Tower 28 SOS serum. I don't find that this is completely necessary in my skincare routine, but I do like using it. And I find that especially now that it's winter time when my skin is really dry and my barrier is a little bit compromised because of the dryness of like the air and the lack of humidity, I tend to get more eczema flare-ups, especially like around my eyes. And so I just like to use this because it just feels like it's a little safety layer or comfort or whatever to help protect my eczema prone skin a little bit more. So I spray or squirt that into my hand and then just press it all over my face. This absorbs super quickly. These are actually pretty similar so I don't think you need both but I do like this one because it feels a little bit more substantial than the spray. And then I always go in with my very, very favorite CauseRx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I have gone through probably four bottles of this. This is such a favorite of mine and I will forever repurchase. This has helped so much with my dryness and my sensitivity and um, my eczema, just like so many things. So I'll do a few layers of this actually. I'll do two pumps and put it on my skin. And this has never irritated my eczema. Like if I ever have flare-ups around my eyes, this never, never stings or irritates it more, which I really appreciate because there are a lot of skincare products that can really irritate my skin when I have eczema flare-ups that don't usually irritate it when I don't have eczema flare-ups. So yeah, I just love this. So after I've done one layer, sorry the sun is coming out. Of course it's changing the lighting, but then I'll go in with another layer. I'll usually do like two or three depending on how dry my skin feels. And then I'll go in with some sort of vitamin C. My skin really, really likes vitamin C. I feel like it helps a lot with like brightening my skin tone and evening my skin tone out. And I definitely notice a difference when I do use vitamin C. I know a lot of people in the skincare community just think vitamin C is not necessary, which is totally fair, but I personally like it in my skincare routine. And I do find that it makes my skin brighter and glowier. So I always like having some type of vitamin C. Right now I'm using the Alpen Beauty Bare Berry and Vitamin C Glow Serum. This one's really nice because it feels very moisturizing on the skin. And it feels a little bit thicker than like your average vitamin C serum. So I've been really liking this. It does have like, gl not glitter, but like shimmer particles in it, which is interesting to me. And it's not my favorite favorite because I don't know if that's like gonna clog my pores or anything but I haven't noticed an issue with it lately 
or since I've been using it and I've been using it for a while now but I do notice that it gives me like a really pretty glow after putting it on and it feels very moisturizing as well so that's the skin after the vitamin C I think it feels just like very good on the skin and very like plumping as well I'm breaking out pretty bad I'm not used to breaking out like I am lately I'm getting a lot on my cheeks and my like the sides of my face like right here I wonder if it's from my hair care and like moisturizing masks but I'm gonna get um Curology soon and I'm so excited to try it my little high school heart would explode knowing that I'm getting Curology <laughs> Because I think I begged my mom for like other types of acne products. I think like Murad and something. Oh, Proactive. So it's really exciting that I'm like going to get to try a popular acne skincare line. Anyway, I just wanted to say that because I'm like breaking out and I'm really excited to try something that could help it. So after my vitamin C, I'll go in with a morning moisturizer. Right now I'm using the Aven Tolerance Control soothing skin recovery cream and I will switch between that and the phytosurgeons verdant force field both of these are absolutely gorgeous morning moisturizers for me they're really moisturizing and just feel really nourishing to the skin so I love these more moisturizing ones especially during the winter time because my skin is so dehydrated like I've mentioned so many times um, but today I'm going to go in with the Phytosurgeons one and I usually do like a pump and a half and this is what it looks like. It's this gorgeous green color and it smells really, really good and it's very moisturizing as well. And then of course my last step is SPF. Right now I'm using the Kinship Self Reflect. This is one of my favorite sunscreens. This is a zinc oxide broad spectrum SPF 32. I've been using this for years at this point and I love it. I do find that it works a little bit better for me in the winter time because I find that I'm paler and so it's a little bit easier to blend into my skin because it is a like mineral sunscreen versus a chemical one. So it does take a little bit to blend into the skin and I do find that I get less of a white cast with this when I'm my winter shade or like blending it in isn't as much of an effort when I'm my lighter skin tone in the winter time. But I think this one is so beautiful and this in conjunction with the phytosurgeons moisturizer just gives you such a beautiful base for makeup it really smooths the skin out and just like gives you a really moisturized hydrated base for whatever makeup routine is to come afterwards So as you can see, it does take a minute to blend in so I don't get any white cast from it. But once I'm done blending it in, I just get the smoothest, most like plump base and skin. And I do feel like that SPF really locks in all of the rest of my moisturizers and serums and everything as well for my morning skincare routine. And I just get like such a beautiful base from it and then I'll also throw on some lip balm or lip oil or something like that I really like the um, skin cosmetics lip oils this is the shade crimson I really like these skin cosmetics lip oils because I feel like they like sink into your lips and eventually kind of feel like a balm and they're just really hydrating and I love them. I've gone through like the golden one. I've gone through like four or five of them at this point. They're one of my absolute favorites. Um, and I like this one for a touch of color if I'm feeling like I want a lip balm with color, I guess. So this is the finished skincare routine. This is what my face looks like after all of that. And I feel like it just looks so plump and like hydrated and healthy and it feels plump hydrated and healthy as well it just feels very very moisturized and what i love about all of those products as well is like none of them pill or don't work well with each other i don't have any issue with 
any of that so that's also really nice because I hate dealing with p pilling and um, makeup products not working together well and I also feel like because my skincare routine in the morning is so hydrating and so moisturizing I have a lot fewer issues with any type of like foundation or base product I put on top of it like clinging to dry patches or looking really dry or anything like that so yeah I just love my skincare routine in the morning I find that it's pretty simple and straightforward and it works really well for me so that's my morning skincare routine. Um, if you have any suggestions for dry eczema or acne prone skin, please leave them in the comments. I would love to know what your like holy grail products are, um, especially if you have a similar dry eczema prone and acne prone skin type like me. Um, I always love trying new skincare products that are geared towards that. So yeah, that is everything. If you have any questions about any of the products, or anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!